Having organised safaris throughout sub-Saharan Africa for 10 years and having worked in lodges in Zambia, Malawi and Kenya, there is not much that I have not done on the wildlife side. At Casanova and Lloyd, they have worked in Mozambique since the company started over 20 years ago, so it was important when I joined the company to find out why it works so well for their clients. I was very much expecting it to be predominantly a honeymoony um, couple's experience, um, just from you know, the nature of a lot of these lovely remote island lodges. You know, they're very small, very exclusive. Um, you know, a lot of them don't have swimming pools, um, you just don't need them. But no, I mean, you know, there, there's lots to do, you know, fantastic, you know, empty, beautiful beaches. Um, I think children that are happy amusing themselves rather than in a kids club or in a swimming pool, um, I, think, I think they would love it. Where we can really help clients get under the skin of Mozambique is, um, is by really providing a good guide when you're on the more cultural islands in Mozambique. Um, it's got such a fascinating and, and diverse history that you really need someone to talk you through it. Um, and finding a good English speaker in northern Mozambique is quite tricky. Um, but I feel I met a couple of really excellent guides, one who was willing to um, guide any of our clients interested in the architecture of Ilha de Mozambique. Um, so that would be great. He was, he was fascinating to talk to on all sorts of things, but being an architect, um, I know that you know, he would be great for, for clients on that front. And another, another local guy, um, James, who was just brilliant on the history. I think the, the thing I was most excited about and, um, and lived up to its expectations was an island hopping experience um, called the Ibo Dao Safari. And um, you know, I, I don't know of anywhere else you can do this on the east coast of Africa. Um, and I used to work on, a, on an island in Kenya and it was, it was never really possible. But it's a, a fantastic trip. Um, where you can hire a big dhow, you know, the old traditional sailing boats and off you go for however long you want, but generally sort of four or five nights, um, you know, set up camp on these deserted islands, um, cook dinner over the fire, uh, well, your guide will, um, and, you know, just really, really enjoy the remoteness and a, a, a proper, you know, adventurous experience. I'd always known the coast of Mozambique as a great post-safari beach destination, but now it has arrived as a beach destination in itself. It also offers amazing adventures in the islands and along the mainland coast and opportunities to explore the culture.